cancer immunotherapy is really revolutionizing the way that we're treating cancer and providing new hope for patients with, with many different kinds of malignancies. And we pioneered an approach called adoptive T-cell therapy where we take T-cells from the patient's body and we re-engineer them and re-infuse those T-cells to essentially create an army of cancer-fighting immune cells. The types of receptors that we introduce into these T-cells are called T-cell receptors or chimeric antigen receptors. The results are simply astounding. We are treating patients with advanced leukemia and lymphoma that have failed every conventional chemotherapy, radiation therapy, including transplants. What's really remarkable about this is that it requires taking the cells from the patient, engineering them in the laboratory, growing them up to relatively small numbers, and giving them a single treatment, one infusion of these cells that takes about 30 minutes to deliver. And within weeks, the patient goes into a complete remission. One of the first patients that was treated on our trial with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, I got a call from his oncologist who was looking after him. This was four or five days after we'd given him a, a single infusion of a tiny dose of T-cells. The patient had um, massive growth of lymph nodes in his neck, um, really literally you know, pounds of, of, of tumor. He was feeling his lymph nodes in his neck and he said, you know, it feels like they're just melting like ice cubes. In my years as an oncologist and, and as a research scientist, I have never seen a treatment that, that has that spectacular response rate in its initial testing in patients. We are initiating trials in lung cancer, in some types of breast cancer, in sarcoma, in melanoma, and soon in pancreatic cancer. These are all devastating cancers that, for which there really are no effective chemotherapies. The opportunities are incredible. We can move this into other common cancers, kidney cancer, colon cancer, and have research programs around trying to develop immunotherapies for those tumors. The time is now. It has never been a greater opportunity to improve the outcome for so many patients with cancer. But we can do it. We've proven it. We are at the precipice of a revolution in cancer treatment based on using immunotherapy.